A quantum computer is pushing around a bunch of qubits, right? A bunch of spinning particles or something like that. The spin of a particle that can either be spinning clockwise or counterclockwise is a qubit. The world of quantum computing has always been an exciting yet mysterious field. For decades, scientists and engineers have worked tirelessly to unlock the full potential of quantum systems. The promise of quantum computing has been nothing short of revolutionary, offering the possibility of solving problems that are impossible for classical computers to address. From breaking encryption to simulating complex molecules, the possibilities seemed endless. But recently, something unexpected happened. Microsoft, one of the largest tech companies in the world, made a shocking announcement, they have shut down their quantum chip project. This move has raised questions, sparked controversy, and left many wondering why a company so deeply invested in the future of computing would make such a drastic decision. In this video we will dive deep into the reasons behind Microsoft's decision to shut down its quantum chip project, explore the ethical concerns surrounding quantum computing, and examine what this move means for the future of the industry. As an ethical hacker, I'm here to show you why this decision is not just a technical one but a reflection of the larger challenges that come with the rapid advancement of quantum technology. The Rise of Quantum Computing Before we get into the specifics of Microsoft's decision, let's first understand why quantum computing was considered such a game-changer in the first place. Quantum computing is based on the principles of quantum mechanics, the branch of physics that governs the behavior of particles at the smallest scales. Unlike classical computers, which process information as binary bits, zeros and ones, quantum computers use quantum bits or qubits. A qubit can exist in multiple states at once, thanks to the phenomenon known as superposition. This allows quantum computers to process vast amounts of data simultaneously, solving problems at speeds that classical computers simply can't match. Additionally, qubits can be entangled, meaning the state of one qubit can influence the state of another even if they are far apart. This phenomenon, known as quantum entanglement, can enable faster and more efficient computing, making quantum computers ideal for tasks like factoring large numbers, simulating molecules for drug discovery, or optimizing complex systems. For years, companies like IBM, Google, and Microsoft have been racing to build the first practical quantum computer. Microsoft, in particular, invested heavily in this field, developing its own approach to quantum computing. Their method, known as the topological qubit approach, aimed to overcome some of the major challenges in quantum computing, such as qubit instability and error rates. The goal was to create a more stable and scalable quantum computer that could be used for real-world applications. However, despite the initial excitement and optimism surrounding quantum computing, it has become increasingly clear that there are still significant technical and ethical challenges to overcome. And it is within this context that Microsoft's decision to shut down its quantum chip project begins to make sense. The technical challenges of quantum computing. The road to building a practical quantum computer has never been easy. The technical hurdles involved are immense, and even the most advanced quantum systems are far from perfect. One of the biggest challenges in quantum computing is decoherence, the loss of quantum information due to interactions with the environment. In classical computing, bits are stable and predictable, but in quantum computing, qubits are fragile and susceptible to noise, which can lead to errors in computation. To address these challenges, researchers have been working on various approaches, including the topological qubit, which was Microsoft's focus. The idea behind topological qubits is to use exotic particles that exist in two-dimensional spaces to encode quantum information. These particles are resistant to the types of errors that affect other types of qubits, making them a promising candidate for large-scale quantum computing. The problem, however, is that creating and controlling enions in a lab setting has proven to be extremely difficult. Despite years of research, Microsoft's topological qubits have not materialized as expected, and the company has faced repeated delays. In addition to the challenges of decoherence and error rates, quantum computers also require extremely precise environments to operate. They must be kept at near absolute zero temperatures to prevent the qubits from interacting with thermal energy, which can disrupt their delicate quantum states. This requires specialized hardware, including dilution refrigerators, and results in extremely high operational costs. Even with these precautions, quantum computers are still prone to errors, and developing error correction methods is an ongoing challenge. Microsoft's quantum chip project was not immune to these difficulties. While the company's ambitious vision for topological qubits was compelling, it became increasingly clear that the technical challenges were more complex than originally anticipated. The company was faced with the reality that despite their investment in research and development, 
they were not able to make the breakthrough needed to move forward with their quantum chip. Ethical Considerations in Quantum Computing While the technical challenges of quantum computing are significant, there are also a number of ethical considerations that come into play. The implications of quantum computing are far-reaching, and the potential for both positive and negative impacts on society is enormous. As an ethical hacker, it is essential to examine the ethical dilemmas that arise with the advent of quantum technology, particularly in areas like privacy, security, and power dynamics. Quantum Encryption and Privacy One of the most significant ethical concerns surrounding quantum computing is its potential to break current encryption methods. Classical encryption algorithms such as RSA rely on the fact that factoring large numbers is computationally infeasible with classical computers. However, quantum computers have the potential to break these encryption schemes in a matter of seconds, rendering most of today's digital security protocols obsolete. This creates a massive ethical dilemma. On one hand, quantum computers could be used to enhance security through quantum cryptography, which leverages the principles of quantum mechanics to create virtually unbreakable encryption. On the other hand, quantum computers could also be used by malicious actors, governments, or corporations to break into secure systems and steal sensitive information. The rise of quantum computing could potentially lead to a security arms race, where organizations and nations vie for control over quantum technologies to gain an advantage in cyberspace. The ethical concerns here are clear. While quantum cryptography offers a new frontier in secure communication, the same technology could also be used to undermine privacy and digital security on a global scale. This duality creates a complex ethical landscape that needs to be carefully navigated. Microsoft's decision to shut down its quantum chip project. Now, let's return to the central question. Why did Microsoft decide to shut down its quantum chip project? The decision to halt the development of its topological qubits can be seen as a response to a combination of technical, ethical, and business challenges. Despite years of investment, research, and development, Microsoft was unable to overcome the technical barriers that stood in the way of creating a viable quantum chip. The failure to produce topological qubits at scale, combined with the escalating costs and challenges of quantum computing, led the company to re-evaluate its approach. In addition to the technical difficulties, Microsoft likely considered the ethical implications of continuing to pursue a technology that could have profound societal impacts. Microsoft may have recognized that pursuing quantum technology without addressing these ethical concerns could lead to unforeseen consequences, both for society and for the company itself. It's also worth considering the competitive landscape. Other companies, such as IBM and Google, are forging ahead with their own quantum computing efforts, focusing on different approaches to quantum systems. Microsoft may have determined that the topological qubit approach was no longer the best path forward and that it needed to pivot its efforts toward other areas of research or strategic priorities. Ultimately, Microsoft's decision to shut down its quantum chip project is a reflection of the complex and evolving nature of the quantum computing field. As we move forward, the lessons learned from this experience will likely inform the future of quantum research and development as companies and researchers continue to grapple with the challenges and ethical dilemmas posed by this powerful technology.